Something you'll probably notice straight away in IntelliJ IDEA 2016.3 are the new parameter hints. You'll see when you use literals in a method call that these are annotated with the name of the parameter. This makes it much easier to understand what this value represents. For example, here we can see the values are for the path and the port of the service. While in this case that might have been reasonably obvious, the parameter names become really useful when you're passing in default, null or boolean values. You can now see what the null or boolean is being used for, and it can help you spot potential bugs much sooner. If we remove the parameter hints on this method, for example, by using alt and enter, you see it's much more difficult to understand what the method arguments are for. Parameter hints are shown for literal or null values, but not in all cases. For example, if you have a method that takes a pair of parameters, like a start and end value. Or for methods that act like builders. Of course, you may find that this feature highlights parameter names that are not very useful. You can either use IntelliJ IDEA's usual refactoring tools to rename the parameter. Or you may choose to suppress hints for this method, like we did with a fine customer example. Or, if you right click on the parameter name, you can alter the settings for parameter hints. You can add or remove items from the list of excluded methods. Here I'm going to turn hints back on for the methods I've excluded from this class. You can also see and edit other patterns that are automatically excluded. Finally, you may want to turn off hints altogether. There are a number of ways to do this. Firstly, by right-clicking and selecting Disable Parameter Name Hints. You can re-enable by right-clicking on a literal and selecting Enable Parameter Name Hints. Or you can disable or enable hints in the settings, in Editor, General, Appearance, and unchecking the Show Parameter Hints box. You can also view and change the blacklist from here as well.